What's going on, everybody? It's the Beastly Gamer here. I'm playing a little King Oddball. I know a lot of you guys have probably never heard of this game. It's actually on the PlayStation 4, but it's also available on Android and I believe iOS. And it's really cheap. It was only like seven dollars uh, in the PlayStation Store. And it's a really fun game if you like stuff like Angry Birds or games that just take you mentally out of Call of Duty, Battlefield, Destiny, where you gotta compete and shoot people and do things of that nature. So it's a pretty fun experience. And uh, I'm gonna play this right now and talk to you guys about something that's kinda close to home for me. Um, we have, have recently uh, found out that an Ebola outbreak has happened here in America. And uh, the o Ebola outbreak stemmed from Liberia and from the Congo of, Congo of Africa. And uh, a lot of people have been affected by it. Thousands of people dead right now uh, because of this uh, this outbreak, this sickness that's affecting uh, many Liberians, librarians, and uh, people are dying left and right over there. Now we had some people uh, who were in that country uh, recently come back to America, uh, you know, come back, spend time with their family, go back to work, do those kind of things, and. Uh, one of the guys who came back here has actually uh, brought this disease, this virus, back to the to the to the land of the free, to America. What is Ebola? You guys are probably asking. If you don't know what Ebola is, it is one of the deadliest viruses known to man. Uh, it has a 90% mortality rate. Uh, that means nine out of ten people who contract this virus will die from it. Uh, it gets into your system and it shuts down your immune system and uh, you eventually end up dying from organ failure so it's a real it's a really scary thing uh, you know when people talk about it it's, it, it's as scary as it sounds if not scarier uh, you know I'm really paranoid I got a family of four <laughs> and uh, I, I keep their well-being paramount in my mind and so with me being here in Atlanta knowing that we've had someone touch ground in Atlanta with this virus is very very frustrating to me um, it also touched ground last night last night in my home city of Akron Ohio so this is not an isolated thing people are really uh, really in a bad uh, predicament with this Ebola outbreak um, one thing I will say that I'm very concerned about the uh, United States government has not issued any type of uh, restrictions to people traveling from these third world countries that have this Ebola virus. They have been letting people in, you know, sure, come on in, you know, like thunder, letting people in, in the, in, in the country with, you know, with no issues, no problem. And uh, I think that it's just really, really bad. And uh, it's going to bode very bad for us in this country in the future. Lots of people, you know, have been telling me, Beastly Man, it's the end of the world. You know, this is what we've been talking about in the Bible. And and I, I, I agree with that to a lot of uh, degrees, actually. Um, you know, I believe the Bible is <coughs> the, the, guide life, the guide to life for me, you know. Uh, and, and I think that the stories in the Bible uh, are really grounded in a lot of reality. I think a lot of things that the Bible has to say... Uh, you know, can help us with everyday life. And um, a lot of things in the Bible have happened, and a lot of things in the Bible, I feel, are going to happen. Um, but that's neither here nor there. The, the bottom line is, now we have Ebola. You know, something that hasn't been seen for f almost 40 years, miraculously pops up in four territories of Africa. You know, uh, four territories. It's not like it's just a random thing. This doesn't happen every day. Um, and uh, now it's here. What are my thoughts on it? I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on it. I think that this government was totally negligent in allowing this to come to America. Uh, Western and civilized uh, countries, Europe, uh, places like that, Canada, they have all uh, negated travel uh, rights from these countries to their countries uh, because they want to protect their people. Now, how much does America want to protect Americans, you ask? Probably not too much from the looks of things. If you knew that you know, your dog had rabies, would you let that dog come in the house and be around your family or be around your other dog? No. I mean, if you know that people are sick with a debilitating virus that's killing 90% of the people who catch it, why the hell would you allow people to come to America unless you intend it 
on Americans to die. That's just that's my mindset set on this whole thing. I might be wrong, you know, who knows. But my mindset is pretty made up that somebody, you know, high up in the government knew this was going to happen and said the hell with it, let it happen. <clears throat> Excuse me guys, I got a cough and I don't have Ebola. Um it's just very frustrating. Uh we got the two nurses who helped one of the, the the guy who died. There was a black man who came here on August 21st and uh by the 24th he was in the hospital twice uh complaining of, you know, chest pains and and vomiting and uh you know, extreme cramps. He went to the hospital 4 days after he got back from uh Liberia and um he uh was told that he she go home and take some uh, antibiotics. So the doctor prescribed him some antibiotics and uh, sent him on his way. Now, four days after that, his best friend told him to go back to the hospital because his best friend knew he had came from Liberia, and, and that's where this outbreak is happening. I think there's about 4,000 people who have died, close to 4,000 people who have died from this thing so far over there. And so he went back to the hospital, explained to the doctor, hey, look, maybe you should take a better look at what's going on here. Uh, you know, I've been in Liberia, and so they quarantined him. They contacted the Atlanta Center for Disease Control, who went out to the hospital, went to transport the guy, and he died. Okay, he died there. Now, two of the nurses who were treating this guy have also been confirmed to have Ebola. Confirmed cases. Um, and it's, it's really frustrating for me, because I know that, you know, it's that easy for you to catch it. There's probably other people now who have it in the country. And, uh, it's just a scary, scary, scary thing. Uh, imagine if a child contracts this disease or this virus and, and takes it to a school someplace. Can you imagine that? Uh, that's going to be one of the worst things possible, one of the worst things ever. Uh, and uh, if that happens, children play together. Children have spitball contests and you know, eat each other's lunch and share drinks and they sweat on the playground. These children are going to start coming home they're going to come home sick. Parents are not going to know because this this virus has uh, a tendency to be confused with uh, with the flu, flu-like symptoms. Plus, with it being wintertime, parents really aren't going to know what the hell's going on. And uh, by the time the child is diagnosed, the parents are infected and the whole family is wiped out. That's what's happening right now uh, over in Africa. Families, entire families are being wiped out because of this virus. And it's a scary thing. And I've already talked to my ex-wife, which I don't like to do very often, and uh, I let her know that the severity to me of this situation, and that here in Atlanta, if, if there's any more signs of this, we're taking our kids out of middle school. I don't care what she says at this point. I feel like my children's life is worth a lot more than you know a, a classroom full of potential hosts of this virus, um, and and that's how I feel about it. I want to know how you guys feel about it. Do you think it's a, you know. Uh, depopulation plan. I, I've heard a lot of people say that. I would not put that past the government at all. I think the government's extremely corrupt, and uh, you know, they know they've lost the trust of the people. But I think the government's extremely corrupt, and that that's a, a, a very valid uh, you know observation and a, and a real possibility. I'm not going to jump to that conclusion just yet, because I got a family to protect. You know, I got a gun, and and, and I got you know food, and I got you know. Three children who depend on four children who depend on me. I'm sorry, and uh, I gotta do everything I can to protect them. What are you guys gonna do? Hopefully, you guys do the same thing. If you have children, and in your city or your state appears to have a lot of people sick, get them out of school. The last thing you want to do. I mean, I'm telling you right now, the very last thing I would ever want to do is have to watch one of my children die, and it's it's that real. I mean, I I, ho I would like to hope that it's not the case, but Look Look at what we got going on here. Uh, we have this kind of situation actually existing right now. And um, if this is existing right now, it's a possibility that it could get worse. They already said the worst part. Oh, damn, I fucked that up. The worst part, uh, well, the part that they thought probably could never happen has already happened. We have Ebola strain on American soil. Soil, I'm sorry. My sore throat's getting me. Um, and so we have an Ebola strain here on American soil. And that's the part that, you know, very unlikely what they were saying. Unlikely my ass. The bottom line is, it happened. So now we got to protect our families and uh, you guys do whatever you have to do. 
in the next couple of weeks, if the world has gone into a, a much worse place like it's, like it's happened over in Liberia, this video will probably be one of the, <laughs> the last things you guys will think about. But do what you got to do to protect your family and don't listen to mainstream news because they, they, they create news. They don't report it. You know, uh, would, would the government want to let you know if this thing was spreading fast? Of course not. They wouldn't want people to panic. They wouldn't want people running around looting stores. They would just say, hey, let them die slowly. Let them die, you know, one by one. And so just be aware that the news agencies that exist today, the 24-hour news cycle that exists today is, not, is a detriment. It is not a good thing. And uh, I just want you guys to be safe. Everybody be, be safe out there. Keep your eyes open out there. And... Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. Is this Ebola virus going to wipe out humanity? Is this, you know, is this revelations? Uh, is this Ebola virus going to be over in two weeks because America is just that bad? Um, you guys let me know what you think. Because uh, I don't know what to think. All I know is right now I'm very stressed out about it. And I don't like feeling stressed out about stuff like this. And uh, I need a kind word. You guys let me know what you think. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.